with both cylinders bored, I'm going to move on to facing off the ends of both the blocks. It's worth noting that the bores are not exactly the same. As we know, the first one came out at 33.04mm. And as I've marked on the other block, I managed to get that to 33.02mm. To face off the ends, I'm actually going to be using the bore as a reference surface. And to do that, I've turned a mandrel in the lathe. For the mandrel, I've got a bit of 35mm mild steel bar firmly clamped into the three jaw chuck. And you can see at the end there it's been centre drilled so that I could use a dead centre to give it some support whilst I was turning it down. The bulk of the length of the bar has been turned down to a diameter of just over 33mm. In fact it matches the bore on the first of the two cylinder blocks, the one that's 33.04mm. As we can see the finish is bloody awful but that's normal on this lathe with mild steel. I, I always struggle to get a good finish, but in this case, it really doesn't matter. It's not visible in the video, but at the check end of that shoulder, there is a very slight taper. I don't know what angle it is, but over the course of around about two to three millimeters, the diameter increases by about 0.1 millimeter, with that larger diameter being at the check end. Although arbitrary in its dimensions, the taper is key as it is that it's going to hold the cylinder when I fit it to the mandrel. So when I fit the cylinder block, I slide it along the length of the mandrel and push it hard up against that taper. And then to ensure it's properly seated, I give it a couple of taps with a plastic mallet. With the cylinder now firmly up against that taper and nothing else gripping it, I face off this end. From here onwards it's now just a case of carrying on with facing off both ends of each cylinder to bring it down to dimension. I think the spec is two and three quarter inches so I'm working to 70 mil front to back with a bit of attention to try and keep the ribs at either end of the cylinder block relatively equal for aesthetic reasons. When I reverse the cylinder block to face off the other end, I realised I didn't have the dead centre in place to provide that little bit of extra support to the mandrel. So for this face, I rearranged the setup slightly so that I could get the dead centre back in position. And after facing off this end, I did swap back around again and put a final cut on the other face to ensure it was square. As I called out at the beginning of the video, the second cylinder block has a slightly smaller bore, 33.02mm rather than 33.04mm, and as such it wouldn't fit on the mandrel. So to get it to fit I just polished the mandrel back using some emery cloth, and as we can see here the fit is a little bit more snug than it was for the first one, but that is a positive thing. Theoretically if nothing else I've got a pair of cylinder blocks for which the bores are parallel with the top surfaces, the steam chest faces, and both the front and rear faces are square with the bores. So on this positive note, I'll wrap up this short video and say thanks for watching.